Hello, my name is Barry. Hi. Hold on. I'm Corey. I play the bass. I'm Aaron, and I play the drums. The camera's over there. Alright. Right. That concludes my questions. Sweet. Alright, thanks. Awesome. That's good. Can you explain, if you if you could, the meaning or kind of uh, background to the name Minus the Bear? Man. It all goes back to mythical times. This is on the internet, right? Yeah. You can find the answer out on the internet. Really? That's all we'll tell you. We'll leave it at that. So cryptic. It goes back to the days of Jesus Christ. Who? Noah. Who? The devil. How do you guys form? Um, we were... I'll be serious for a second. Okay, we uh, were all in other bands uh, and had just kind of all played shows together and known each other from being around town. And uh, eventually Dave and Corey had met and started hanging out and started talking about doing a band together. And then they asked me to play the drums, and I said no. Mm -hmm. And then I said yes. <laughs> and then uh, Matt Bayless, who used to be in our band, had, he uh, had recorded all of our other bands. And so he was like, I wanted to be, be in the band as well. So the four of us started writing some music, and uh, Jake, our singer, was uh, probably closest to me at that point, and basically just told me that he was going to start singing in our band. And so that happened, and then we started writing songs yeah. with Jake as well. This tour is pretty interesting as far as um, being a kind of cross-genre um, tour. How did you guys get involved with that? How did that come about? Uh, well, I mean, we picked all the bands that we wanted you know, to go on tour and that were available. Uh, I think the U.S. actually contacted us. His agent contacted us. Yeah, his our agent. His people, right. called, his, our his people called our people. Yeah. Um, all of them had been friends. I mean, we had a connection with U.S. just because he's from Minneapolis, and Aaron's band that he started a long time ago, Kill Sadie, which I also played in the end. Like, U.S. had used samples from them, and so there was a connection there. And we've known the Velvet team forever in the Russian circles. We just met, um, so it just all kind of worked out, and it's been awesome. Okay, so like, how do you find the? Uh, I guess because you draw different crowds, how do you find the reaction of other fans to your music? Uh, I don't know. I mean, things just seem to be going pretty well in yeah. general for everyone. I mean, everyone has a pretty damn good crowd response, it seems like, every night. Yeah. And uh, it was a little weird at first, and we were a, a little... I don't know, it's it's funny because Steph, who is POS, you know, has like definitely been like, oh, these indie rock kids might hate me or whatever. Um, but I never even thought of that, about like that, oh, some of these kids might not like rap music. It, it's just seems like something that, Absolutely like listening ridiculous. to it, just that like everyone would like, you know, it's, yeah. his music's really good, and, and uh, I got, yeah, I, I never really thought, I mean, I knew it was an awesome and diverse bill, but I didn't, I never really like, was worried about whether it would work or not until the first few shows, and then it works, it works really well, it's, it's a fun-filled evening yeah. here on the I think tour. a lot of people are, like, turned on by a lot of the bands that they hadn't heard before. Turned on sexually. Just everybody. I've heard this um, this phrase math rock kind of thrown around as far as a description of your band. How do you feel about that particular, I guess, genre tag? Or I mean, what are your feelings on that? Well, we're not math rock. I mean, it's not like we have technically insane things going on, right? Yeah. Like we we pretty much play count to four. Yeah, I mean, it's it's not. I mean, I think yeah, I don't know. It's not. That's all I'll say about it. Those are someone else's words. Yeah. True. Is there any genre that you might feel kind of offended by if you were to? I don't know. I mean, you know, there's obvious. Like, if someone's like, "Oh, mine's the a polka band," like, I wouldn't be offended by it, but I'd be like, "You're an idiot." Is there any kind of backstory as far as just kind of like naming songs and because they seem pretty off the wall and kind of random? But nope. Are they pretty awesome? Just go. Nope. <laughs> nope. What about themes for your? Your songs and or albums? Lyrically? I don't know, I don't write lyrics. Um, <laughs> no, I don't know. Uh, Jake has a very, he has a very, you know, a style that he writes in. He's an, he's an English major and he has a... Should I leave? I mean, I, you're right there. That's the weird thing. <laughs> I've wanted you for a while. Get out of here! Um, no, he, you know, he has a very particular kind of style of writing, and uh, he always has. I mean, I was a huge 
fan of his old band and his uh, his writing in that band, which is one of the main reasons I wanted him to be in the band. Uh, he's been trying to break out of a lot of his habits as far as lyric lyrically goes and stuff. But I mean, I don't he, know. Yeah, I mean, he can write a, you know a good little story that people can relate to, or wish they could relate to, or wish they hadn't related to. I think a lot of people. Yeah. I mean, a lot of people think that he's like writing about himself or yeah. us or whatever, but I mean, you know, it's just stories so that just, he's telling about yeah. some well, people sure, doing so some just, things, you know? Yeah. yeah. As far as future plans, what do you guys have in store? Because I know you guys came out with an album in 2005. Have you been working on an album yep. while you've been on the road? We have, a, we have a remix record that's coming out February 22nd, I think. Yep. Um, that's just Minnesota, so completely remixed. Uh, and then... We start recording February 1st for a new record, which will be out in August. I mean, it all goes well. It should be yeah, out in August, August yeah. of next year. Well, what are your feelings on, on MySpace and just kind of like how that, has that helped you? Well, I mean, it's obviously kind of helped you in a way, but what are your feelings towards that particular site and or, you know, how it promotes bands and that kind of thing? MySpace? I don't know what that is. I have no idea what you're talking about. Uh, uh, uh. I think it's good. It's great, you know, it's a great way for bands to get free promotion, and like, it's definitely like the. It's crazy. It's you know, it's insane. It's bizarre. I mean, it's this weird. Whole internet. Thing. I mean, it's weird that it's not weird, but it's 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 crazy to think like when we were growing up and like listening to music, we had to like like mail order from seven inches and stuff, and like you'd send off two or three bucks, and like six weeks later you'd get a little seven inch six two songs. Lucky. Yeah, if you like. Yeah. And then, like, that was how you found out about bands, you know, and, like, zines and stuff. But now, like, you, you read Heart go, Attack. Read Heart Attack and, like, Maximum Rock and Roll. Yeah, and, yeah. Like, but it was kind of cool, too. Teen Beat. Teen Beat. Tiger Beat. Yes. Yeah. Um, but now you can just, like, click on, like, if you're, if you even, like, hear a whisper of a band name, you can go on and find it. Which I think is kind of cool because people can find it, but it's also weird. I think that a lot of people have heard us yeah. via MySpace. Yeah. Yeah. And then I legally downloaded the record. How do you feel about how music videos kind of changed music in the same way that MySpace has, in that it's exposing like how music used to be a regional kind of thing, where you know you have like a southern sound, you know, an English sound, but now everybody has access to all different parts of the world, and you know can just easily you know look up Seattle area and like oh man I really like that. How do you feel about you know the music video kind of pushing that limit and kind of yeah. taking away the, the regional boundaries. All of a sudden in a whole lot more people's hands, so that's cool because there's a lot more exposure possibility for it. I mean it's it's fun it's, not like it's fun when a music video is like cool. The Ukraine you know? to listen to us. I yeah. Want I mean yeah us, you know? everyone wants the Ukraine listening to I'm us. I'm just talking yeah. about everybody, you know, it's not like I'm gonna say, oh I think it's pretty you know, it's it it's be, cool. It's a yeah. it's a really great way for some bands to like you know, express artistic stuff differently than just playing the guitars or whatever, you know? And then I also think that it's really fucking awful sometimes. I only have, like, a couple more questions. Um, I've only got a couple more answers. Why are you guys One, so good? One, two, yeah. I'm just wondering. Drugs. No, uh, we're not. Good. We work hard. We certainly work if that mean, hard. If that means we're... If that yeah. makes us good, then that's cool. Well, lastly, is there anything that you want to say to any of your fans? What's up, Luke? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was uh, talking to him, but uh, fans, thanks. Or thanks. anyone in this room. I mean, thanks, man. Yeah. I mean, man and woman. Man and women. Yeah. Thank you. Women folk and men folk. Thanks. Thank you. Good night. <laughs> <laughs>